hello youtube welcome to another edition of Lori's thrifty kitchen pantry if you are new welcome i am so happy to have you here today if you like what you see hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so that way you'll be notified when i put new videos out and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back in my kitchen today so today is my second actual planned dinner and I am doing a shelf stable beef and noodle dinner so I am going to be using a um, a jar of cube steak that I pressure canned back in May and I'm just going to be adding some pasta to that and, and fixing some instant mashed potatoes with it. So it's going to be a very easy dinner and I'm, I'm really excited for this. So I am ready to get going here. So let's get into the kitchen and let's get cooking. All right, in this pot here, I have two cups of water. To that water, I am just adding two uh, vegetable bouillon cubes, just for some extra flavor. And I have my jar of beautiful looking cube steak that I pressure canned back in May. We're going to go ahead and get that open and in there so it can heat up with the water. Oh, that was a great seal. I am so happy to hear that sound. It's always nice to hear that sound when I open a jar. So I'm going to get this in here along with the juice. And then we're just going to break that up a little bit. veggie cubes softened up here. When this gets going, I'm going to add this, these um, pasta shells. I, I like using egg noodles, but I don't have any of those, so I'm just going to use these. And then for the gravy part, I'm just going to add a packet of this Oju gravy mix to it. And I gotta grab the pan out of the dishwasher from my mashed potatoes. I love beef and noodles and mashed potatoes. That's comfort food for me. Right, get my water on and going. And get my pasta open. Holy cow. I can't get my pasta open. Goodness gracious. That's what we have char openers for. Be 
There we go. Good heavens. That was much harder than it needed to be. So I'm just going to measure my pasta out here. That was a lot harder than it needed to be. All right, so this looks like it's going good. So we're just going to get our pasta in here and cooking. So this is about a cup and a half. Throw the pasta in. Yeah, beef is so tender it is just falling apart. There is nothing like Koi having home cam meat on your shelf. And I'm just going to mix this gravy mix in here. And this part's basically done. We just have to cook, get our noodles cooked. Alright. Actually, I think I'm going to dump some of this water out because I'm going to put some milk in there. And I don't need that much potatoes. Just need this to simmer and for our noodles to cook. Oh my goodness, this is already smelling so good. Alright. I need to add some butter to my potato water. quite half a cup of butter to it. So I'll add some more after I get it, get the potatoes done and mixed up. Alright, I will bring you back when we get this done. And we are back. Our beef and noodles is done. The mashed potatoes is done. I am hungry. So let's get this plated up. look so good. So we're just going to make a bed of mashed potatoes. Make sure we get that good butter on there. Make a little 
hold for all that good, hold all that good juice. Oh, y'all, look at that. This goes right in that hole. Some of that good gravy to top it up with. Right, I don't need more pasta, I just need the gravy. And look at that. Oh my goodness. If you have parsley, you can always top it with some fresh parsley or whatever you like. Dinner is served, so I'm hungry. Let's eat. All right, I think I'm gonna use a spoon with this because of the gravy, but I got my plate. I got my spoon. Oh my word, y'all. I wish you could smell this. This smells amazing. Look at that perfectly cooked cube steak. Oh my goodness. Here comes my bite. <laughs> Comfort food to the max. Mm. That steak is so tender, you don't hardly have to even chew it. Mm. And that Oju gravy mix is perfect. Mm. Wrap the spoon. Woo! Here comes the happy dance. Woo! This is one of my all time favorite meals. Mm. I am so glad that I had this planned out for today. This is perfect, guys. This meat, mm. is so tender. There's just the right amount of grease in it without it being greasy. Mm. This meal, two thumbs up. I would give it three if I had a third one. So that concludes this edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. Thank you so much for spending time in my kitchen with me today and making this totally shelf-stable meal. It took me less than 30 minutes to pull everything together. So I am so thankful that I started meal planning and, and had this on the menu for today. I'm going to really enjoy it. There's enough for a second meal. So I am I am really happy right now. I'm going to give Mr. Bubba his dinner. I'm going to go put my feet up and enjoy my dinner. So I hope you all have a great week. Let me know in the comments down below what your meal plan for the week is. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye!